guys, I wanted to use the next few videos just to basically um, do all the videos that people have requested me to do and some of the new year ones and going into second year of nursing and things like that. Um, so this video is basically just going to be a summary of my first year and um, to let you guys know. I'll make more videos of my outpatient ones and I'll try and finish my urine analysis series as well but I kind of wanted to keep you up to date otherwise I'm going to get so behind and I'll forget everything. Um, so year one overall was a kind of mixed feelings all around about lots of things. I did the first six months theory, so I September till January I did theory. In that time I did um, three essays and one exam um, and I also did a few simulations and presentations but they were formative so um, we didn't actually, um, we got graded but not like a proper grade that went towards anything so they were kind of ones to help us practice but didn't matter. Um, I did really well on the theory. Um, I got I got straight A's this year on everything on my exam and on all of my essays. So I was really really pleased with that. Um, I actually found the theory this year really easy going. Um, I came from doing a BTEC national in health health and social care, um, and we were worked really really hard there. And we had like three essays a week, and they were really long essays. Um, so although at university the academic standard is different um, in terms of the amount of work, I found that really manageable, really easy. Um, the practice side started in January, ended in July. Um, that I really struggled with. My first placement um, was really mixed. Like I had amazing um, learning experience. We, I was just on the general ward, so general paediatrics. So I had you know children that like from zero to sixteen, mainly a few seventeen year olds came. Um, and it was just brilliant because you got to see so much. Like we had all the little babies that had failure to thrive, um, um, all the bronch stuff, all the asthma stuff, um, in the little ones. Um, we also had, you know, big teenage boys that broke their leg playing football. Um, we also had uh, quite a few people that um, came that attempted suicide, um, and teenagers under, men under the mental health team. <coughs> Sorry. Um, which was really interesting and lots and lots to learn. I went to theatre, I saw um, a uh, tonsillectomy um, and I saw um, a laparoscopic appendicectomy, um, which was really, really interesting, which was really cool and I really enjoyed that. Um, but at the same time as there being amazing learning, I didn't feel well supported. Um, I was there for eight or main weeks, eight weeks, um, and I had six mentors in that time, you're supposed to have two that go through the whole time. They kept changing and they kept kind of just failing all the time to get mentors that were staying with me. And in all fairness, it wasn't their fault, it was often people going off sick, um, unforeseen circumstances, um, but it meant that I wasn't very well supported. I got, I was working with different people every day. I got a lot of criticism that was unfair because they didn't really have the full um, picture of things that I've got loads of examples um, of that um, kind of where they thought I wasn't there and they thought I wasn't enthusiastic where actually I was right in the middle of it and no one really noticed me there because I didn't have one person really looking after me so you know if you're not working with your mentors they don't tend to care about you they kind of just you're working with them that day and that's that um, and it was such a busy ward and it was getting used to doing a 12 and a half hour shift um, and just being brushed off your feet all day long um, it was really hard but you know again lots of learning I did two nights on that placement I loved nights really really enjoyed nights I preferred nights than days just because it was a bit more chilled out a bit more time to um, spend kind of learning and with the nurses and talking with the nurses during the day they just don't have the time um, so they had the time for that at the in, in the night shift and I was with my mentor on the night shift as well so um, that was really really good and really enjoyed that um, my second placement was then an adult placement, which was outpatients, which I'm doing separate videos for, so you'll hear all about that. And then my third placement was learning disability. Um, it was kind of just an insight placement. It was really far away from my house. It took me an hour to get there every day. Um, there was no nursing care. It was all social care. So although the interaction with the service users was very good, and I kind of got to interact with lots of different people, there was lots of politics in it about kind of getting too close to them and they were adults which made it a lot, dif a lot different, a lot um, 
what, more difficult but also different to what I'm used to in working in paediatrics. Um, and there wasn't really the nursing care. We didn't, I did a little bit of personal care. Um, I observed a few peg feeds, um, but that was pretty much it. So that was pretty, I, I didn't really enjoy that placement, but I knew it was just an insight. Um, when I ended my placement, I had, um, I went on holiday, had lots of time with my friends, but then I kind of had a crisis moment where I didn't want to go into the second year, I didn't want to continue nursing, um, but I got through that, and I'm so glad I have, because um, I'll do a separate video of this being my first week back into second year, and I'll tell you all about that. Um, but yeah, if any of you think that you want to quit, just keep going, um, make it out in first year. Um, it's hard work, but you know, I, I was unfortunate because I had bad placements. My one pediatric placement was a bad placement, I didn't enjoy it. Um, but I'm sure next year I'll get placements that I love and it's, it's not the whole of nursing, I recognise that, but there will be a part of nursing which I absolutely love and enjoy and that's what I'll go into, definitely not what I did in my first year placement. Um, so that's pretty much all I want to say about my first year. I don't think there's anything else in particular, but if you guys have any questions, just comment below or send me a message and I'll get back to you and answer those questions or make separate videos. Um, so I hope this was helpful to you and I'll see you in my next video.